Okay, so the book that I want to review today is called Sultan. Um, it was a audiobook again. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Um, it's just it's a little more convenient at this point of time, but I enjoy reading paperbacks too. This was the autobiography of another cricketer. It was the left-handed Pakistani fastballer Wasim Akram. I think in the book he um, talks about how he started playing cricket um, because his older brother um, and a lot of people in his family love playing cricket. He went for these open trials and eventually he was picked as one of uh, the seamers that needed to be groomed. Um, eventually, um, he was taken under the guidance of another cricketer, Imran Khan, who really worked with him very closely to teach him several different variations as a seam baller. I think that uh, group of Pakistani pace ballers were pioneering river swing in international cricket. And um, it's not just about balling fast. That's something I picked up from this book, but it's also about realizing what variations you can use to um, change the to uh, change how you're balling to a batsman based on how they're batting. Um, I think one of the things he spoke about was um, this uh, this idea that, you know, to, it's it wasn't hard to play cricket um, in Pakistan, so he had to also get opportunities in other places. And he got a county contract um, where he played for Lancashire. And he spoke about how he played very closely with a lot of uh, English cricketers and that helped him develop his game. The chapters that I liked best were his recollection of the 1992 World Cup where Pakistan came out as the eventual winners and how like ultimate self-belief was what guided them through um, that big world tournament. Um, with another World Cup coming up, it was nice to see the mindset of players at these big tournaments. Um, he also spoke about some of his challenging moments in his life, like losing his wife um, and being the father of two young boys, like a single father. And um, some of those things uh, really spoke about how mental health is a big problem. Um, and a big concern for a lot of cricketers, uh, especially when you play in such high pressure situations. So it was a good book overall, and I really enjoyed listening to it. It's about seven hours long in the audio format and about 304 pages in the text format.